Hey, what's up, people? This is Steven with another Pixel for Live video tutorial, sort of, I guess. This is going to be something a little bit different. Uh, I'm just going to show off this plugin that I just found today. Um, I have nothing to do with it. I didn't create it or anything. I'm not getting paid for this. Uh, just something I found I wanted to share. Um, it's this, I don't even know how to spell this, demonzon.com slash freebies. And it's a new uh, Photoshop CS6 plugin. It's not made by Adobe but it has some sweet new features. Uh, so there's going to be a link in the comment below. You can click that and when you come here uh, you scroll down to the bottom and unfortunately you have to either uh, tweet out something or uh, say something on Facebook in order to get a download link. Um, it doesn't spam you or anything. Uh, I ended up doing it. I did it with Twitter and it shows you a preview of what it's going to tweet and once you do that you get a link to download. So when you download it you need to get something like this. Uh, if you look at my desktop right here, um, and then all you have to do is double click it, and it's going to open up a plugin manager. Um, and then it's going to ask you about um, do you want to install it? I did it already, so I'm not going to go through this. So um, if you click over here into Photoshop, you'll see I have it installed right there. All right, simple enough. So once that's installed, uh, you can open up your Photoshop. Oops, let me uh, create a new document. Click OK. And let me show you where you can find that now. Uh, you just go over to Window, Extensions, and then you can just click the tool right there. Bam. And here's a list of the uh, the tools that you can use. I'm, not pro I'm probably not going to be using all of them, but there's a few that I really liked. So let me just show them off real quick. Um, oops. This horizontal and vertical spacing, I don't quite get the point of that. Um, we kind of already have that with the transform tools up top, so I'm not going to preview that. I don't understand the point. So let me just show you one thing. Let me create a um, a square right there, and then let's see. So oftentimes I want to center something completely in the center, and uh, normally I would you know draw draw a guideline right here and right here, and that would be my center, and then I kind of line it up in the center as much as possible and there you go but there's an easier way all you have to do is click this bam right in the center simple nice and easy now with one object you can kinda eye it and get it to, uh, to center perfectly but let's say you have um, you know something something like this you have a weird shaped object and if you select all these you can't even center it yourself you know whatever so what you do is you group it Control G, I'm making this group, and then I'm going to click Center Layer. Click that, and it's going to ask, do you want to uh, center the entire group? Yes. And there you go. Simple and easy. Nice for centering it perfectly into the center of the document. All right, so let me show you something else that's really nice. Uh, let's say, I'll just delete it. Let's say you are, hmm, you're making like a little, uh, a little vent or something like that. So you have a black square here but you want it to repeat uh, for a nice little patch let me put that on, on its own layer, my bad Let's create a new layer okay so now I have this square on its own layer I click this an array generator click that and you can say what kind of spacing you want so let's just go with five rows columns to four row spacing fifteen column spacing 15 okay click OK and let it do its magic and there you go nice and simple now you can call, scroll down here group it together and you can move it around you can even center it nice that that one I love I'm gonna be using that a lot one way I can see myself using it is let's say I'm making a, uh, a four column layout before I'd have to do some math and figure out the size of things and then spacing it correctly but now I can just draw a box here and then I will do um, array generator and we'll do three rows columns zero so I guess one column and spacing 15 pixels that's good let's do it oh I did it the wrong way my bad let's try that again rows one columns three and then just click uh, 15 click OK and there you go 
So now you have, um, oops. So now you have three boxes that are perfectly distributed and the same size. Very simple. I love it. So that's pretty much all that I wanted to show you. You can play with these other things, hiding all your layers. Um, you can find a specific layer. Let's say you have a big document and you want to find a layer. You just click that, type in the name of the layer, and you're good to go. Um, so yeah, check it out. Let me know what you think. Again, I didn't get paid for this. I just wanted to show something sweet. Uh, mad props to the guy that made this because it's awesome. Uh, thanks for watching, and see you next time.